guys, welcome to another edition of Small Talk here. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm not necessarily sharing uh, something new here this week, but rather looking at some of the responses that we've gotten from all of you about how your small groups have been going, and hopefully it'll encourage all of you as it has encouraged me for sure to see uh, how some of the groups are going. So these are just two responses, and I got a bunch from you guys, and, and there's a lot of good things happening in the groups, but here's just two um, that I chose. The first one is Linda's group, and she's been working hard to help her girls respond to the message. So here's some of what she's done. She said, I bought the girls a little index spiral so that they could make notes on Wednesday nights during the message. They could write down the theme and the verse. And sometimes I would give them a challenging question from the night. Last week we spoke about uh, to be rooted and how we need to know his word. So I ordered them backpack Bibles, since they all mentioned needing a small one to read while they were traveling to school or where, whenever. They seem genuine in their desire to read more, so I'm hoping that by equipping them, they will that, that will help them succeed. This week, I started a Monday email called Monday Meditations. It will be a verse or a few verses to read. I'm hoping that they take the time to read the section. They all brought their Bibles that I uh, bought them. Uh, to small groups, and they said that they are reading it. So that's really exciting. A lot of really good things happening there in that group. I was talking actually to one of the students from Linda's small group uh, last week in Sunday school, and she was talking about this Bible that she got from Linda and how she's been reading it on the train every day to school. Um, her goal is for the month of November to read Colossians every single day. And so far, and we're about halfway through November right now, She's done that. Every day she's read Colossians, getting the Word of God into her life, and uh, the tools that Linda gave her uh, have been helping make that possible. And um, so she's responding to the messages, and, and Linda's definitely helping them do that. The other group I wanted to highlight was uh, Chris Coster's group. He's been implementing uh, CPR in his group on Wednesday nights, but also finding ways to continue that throughout the entire week. So one thing he started to do is also sending out verses and emails uh, throughout the week and different encouragement for his group. Uh, he's been having success, finding time uh, during small groups, having a student share about what's going on in their life, helping them care for each other in that, and really listen to each other and what they're sharing. Uh, he said one thing he's going to start to look to try to do more is them praying in the group, praying for each other and uh, being open and honest about their prayer requests. So guys, that's just two responses. And like I said, I heard a lot from, from different groups of good things uh, and ways that you're being deliberate to teach CPR. And uh, one of the things that I said is, we just wanna stay consistent with that. Week in, week out, teaching them to care, teach them to pray, uh, teach them uh, how they need to respond to that message in their life. And and what we're seeing is is groups doing that, and it's building on top of each other, and it's and it's uh, growing, and, and we're seeing results from it, and we're seeing impact. So I want to encourage you from what others are saying and what's happening in your groups, encourage you, keep going. Um, it's making differences. And I thank you so much for your work and your serving uh, at Wednesday Night Ministries. Thank you so much for that, and keep going.